Hey everybody, this is Bigwig Zen. Welcome back to Blood Bowl 2. Team Orcs. The High Elf Team. Last time, we beat up somebody really badly. And we got some crazy good rolls. We got Dodge on one of our catchers. Finally. Very good. Although, the big that our other catcher does have like 5 armor or 5 agility. So, well, doubles on our catcher. Oh, no, actually, three people level up and we got doubles on all of them. Scooji, he got guard because he rolled doubles. Gucci-chan also got guard because he rolled doubles. And Pidgey the catcher got dodge. This guy might be our, our go-to throw or catching target. Smells something almost. He's about to level. We got quite a few people on like the very brink of leveling. Maybe not you or you. But go into distance. Gain a slash happiness. Smell something. You know, there's some really cool uh, opportunities awaiting us. Let's find an opponent. Searching opponent. We've not fought any bashy teams yet. And that somewhat worries me. Because I seem to be able to handle the squishy teams relatively well, but the bashier ones might be a problem. I'm thinking Saurus would be the worst. Fighting Saurus sucks. That being said, even something like, you know, Chaos Warriors, you know. Dwarves I might be able to handle. Well, that be... Oh, Chaos. He's much lower level than I am. Also, I can't buy anything, so we'll just hit next. So, the thing about low-level Chaos... I assume they're going to be low-level Chaos, unless, like... <laughs> oh, wow. I assume they're low-level Chaos, because their team rank is 1,000, is that they have no mutations yet. I mean, they might have a Minotaur. I think it might be the most dangerous thing they have. Unless you got like a whole bunch of Chaos Warriors. I think the Chaos Warriors would be more dangerous to me personally. But the point is... The people I have... Well, the point is, is that without their mutations, they're really not all that frightening. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, obviously, I'm still quite squishy, so this could still be a good chance for our uh, Teutonic Plague team here. He's definitely thinking about what he wants, because he can buy a lot of shit. He can get Bloodweiser, babes. But he's going to get two... Wow. Two extra team trainings. That's for his rerolls. A wizard. Ugh. And a Bloodweiser, babe. It's a lot. That wizard. This wizard. Ah. <sighs> He's got the Minotaur. Arc Land Forks! It looks like he's gone with the Minotaur, which means he should have less Chaos Warriors. Which is good and bad, I suppose. Might want to turn off the subtitles, so I'm not going to listen to their comment or audio. But they have a point. I am... I'm much stronger than this team, in theory. Where our teams do two different things. Mine avoids and passes and throws the ball. His doesn't. In fact, I don't even think he can pick up the ball. He'll go offense first and hopes to murder me, by the way. They always do. The Grudis... Oh, no! He's putting me in offense! That's weird. By the way, you, Squishy, you're moving up to be like one of the line member guys. I hope that's okay. He has horns. I'm a little surprised. Normally you'd, normally you'd want to like beat the shit out of me first. But I guess he's thinking I have better dudes on the line, so it's not going to matter too much. Like he's not going to, I'm not going to 
initiate combat with these guys. But with two people with guard, that's something I can easily do. I can easily get uh, two dice even on this Chaos Warrior. Um, but before then, Lyman, you're switching out with Squishy. Who are you? You're another Lyman? You're also, well, you're not a shit Lyman. Leaves at the dice. Abandoning this area is a bad idea for the most part, but doing that should be relatively okay. Something like that. Actually, we need you here, but I want a little bit of marking here. You can not slip through, as far as I can tell. Yep, I'll go with this. Okay, I think what I want to do. This guy punches this guy and follows. This guy punches this guy and follows. Hmm. Well, my team can assist and his can't. Does that mean I don't want... What do I want these guys? Because these guys are really crucial. I want to keep them here where they can mark people. My advice is to do something like this. And have this guy punch this guy. Move him out the way, and then I'll have some people around here. I don't know. I'll leave it like this, though. That way my block guy's in front of the Minotaur. We'll see how it works out. Because I can get at least one die on this uh, other guy with my uh, on the Chaos Warrior. With my dude. Very surprised he went uh, defense first. Maybe he's thinking because um, elves can get the ball so easily anyways by picking up just by picking the ball up. It doesn't matter that much. Well, let's test our theories. That's definitely two dice. That's also two dice. Hmm. If I punch you here... No, that doesn't work at all. Two red dice. That yada, 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 yada. I'll take these two, I think. Hmm. I don't really like that. It's only one. I was really hoping for a knockdown there. Well, try and pick up the ball at least. Hmm. I'm not sure what I want to do here. We'll put it here. Just for now, you know. Putting them here would be a mistake, I think. We won't put them just outside some tackle zones. Move our guys up so they can't flank us very well. Not that I think they'd want to, I'm just thinking ahead. I could blitz and probably hit that guy. Then you also have two. So let's see if we can. That would be a one die. And so would this. It would not be a one die if I had you stand here. And then tried that. It would be a two die, wouldn't it? As I suspected. Nice. I'm going to stay. Still two dice. Still two dice. Should we take our one dice rolls? Yeah, let's do it. Annoying, but at the same time, leaves us pretty safe.
Seems like a bad idea. Except for this spot here where everyone's surrounded. We'll do that just to put more dice in this guy. Actually, it doesn't work. Because if he puts this guy here, then this guy can hit this guy for all he wants. Yep, I made a mistake. Also, his blitzers can always get two dice on me. So... That's something to know. We'll find out if he's a good enough player to realize that or not in a moment. Maybe I'm relying too much on these guard elves. I might want to like have him hang back more and just use him like tactfully. Tactfully? Tactically. With tactics, you know. But even pushing these guys is pretty Pretty important. Uh oh. There he goes. Another injury coming my way. Oh, fuck. KO'd. Right off the bat. Well, they are chaos. <sighs> injury eight. That's all he needed. Actually, that hit there is all he needed. There's one of his reels. If only I had chosen dodge, Gucci Chen. I'm so sorry. I'm not really sorry. He'll punch. He'll won't punch this guy because this guy's he's like kind of in the way. Yeah, I feel like I misplayed that a lot. I've not played bashy teams very often. Dodge? Yes. I'll take this. Well, we'll choose. We'll want to push him this way. Really, that way. I remember these beast men only have three strength. Same as me. Same armor. They're essentially... I'm not going to say they're worse in every single possible way, but they're not better than me in any way. Any significant way. If I move this guy here, then I'll still only have one dice in hand because this guy will have strength with him as well. I have this guy here, which can come over and help cancel that out if he really wants to, but... Hmm... I gotta think about this for a second. Not really used to thinking about things. Jeez. You have two dice, you have a million dice as well. You have one dice, which is interesting. I'm not sure where that comes from. This guy here. Because that gives you two dice. Well, that's my probably my safest move right now. Nice. And we will stay. Nice! I'll take the stun. Going to distance. Two red dice. Moving him here, we'll just put him at one dice. Well, let's work on breaking through this area. It's only one because this guy's being marked too hard. Should have thought about blitzing this man, but can't do anything about it now. Hey, Ode! Oh, that's a level for him! Right? The guffer? Who has what? Well, you have a pretty good chance of getting away, at least. We're gonna hit you with this guy. 
right? Is that what I want to do? I'm gonna move you guys first, something like that. Should like over here. My amazingly like five agility catch guy can probably catch lots of things. Nice. I'll take it. Because now I can follow. Do I want to follow? I think I do want to follow. Because this guy's just going to hit me <laughs> if I don't. Little tiny cage. I didn't do it. I should have probably had this guy run away. Um, in hindsight, that would have been really smart. But, you know, maybe going to distance gets the double skulls twice in a row. I do have four rerolls now. So, I wasn't in, in like, incredible danger of losing. Bad luck, mate. He's going to push him this way. That way the Minotaur gets a chance to hit him. That being said, uh, guy with guard here is going to make that not any more difficult than normal. <laughs> Uh, Frenzy will push him here. And that's still not any more difficult than normal. And another push. But it does let him mark three people here. But hey, it also pushes these guys. So he only has one die here. He'll have two die on this guy, unfortunately. Really? I wouldn't risk that dodge first. Yeah, you want to punch him. Unfortunate. Well, not really unfortunate. Statistically likely. Oh, man. I hate it when I'm statistically likely. God damn it. Oh, no! Come on. The Apoth. Oh. Bad luck on the Apothecaries, by the way. I hate that I gave him two SPP. That could have been so easily avoided with a running away. <sighs> Fuck up. I have dodge. He's thinking about rerolling it, isn't he? There'll be two dice in this guy again. Wouldn't punches him. Which is also unfortunate. Oh, he's not using his reels. But that's one down. <laughs> I imagine he's not pleased with that. This guy has five strength, which means I need uh, like six strength to get out of him. Which means I need at least three guys around him. Which I think I can get. Well, three guys around him I think gives me... Um, Unfortunate. Or statistically likely. Actually, it is unfortunate. Oh, no! We're fine. We're fine. The guffer is stunned. He's gonna move him. Probably over here somewhere. Yeah. It's not coming while always. He'll, uh, give this guy the horns. Unless I blitz him. That might be funny. Because I have... I would have to do some going for it after that. It's definitely an idea. This is only a one... No. Why is that? Oh, because you can't help. That's bullshit. Then, aren't you helping? But he's also helping. Gotcha. What are you? What about you? Because you have strength over there. Which is annoying. Well, it looks like we'll have to dodge here. What's this? That's a low chance. <laughs> uh... Mark you. I'm gonna come over here and do that. He'll just a one die. 
Might be interesting, though, you know? Fuck. Thank you. That way, please. We're gonna follow. I'm gonna come over here and pass it, because that gives me SPP. Please. Stay where we are. Here's where it gets risky, because I have to go this far in order to avoid blitzes. Whoo! Could have ended quite poorly. Could have ended very poorly. I would really like him to get here. It's not going to happen, unless I beat up this man, which is also not going to happen. Take my one rolls. Take my one rolls. Nice. Knock him this way, and we will follow. Nice dodge. So, I've left a lot of guys here open, specifically this guy that can come over and blitz, but he'll only have one die if he blitzes him. He'll have two die on this guy, but he also has dodge. Uh, hey, smell something the catcher could level up here. That's important. We gotta look at the small things like that. That guy's stunned, I have one injured. No, I have one knocked out and one injured. Fuck, and he has a Bloodweiser, babe, and he has a magic thing. Hopefully he gets bad rolls in his magic. I'm pretty sure that can fail if he isn't careful. Well, even if he is careful, I'm pretty sure he can just fail. He's probably thinking about using his Blitz with this guy. One would assume. He should only have one dies on here. He should have two dies on this guy. Junk Trunker. Well, he should still have two dies. Right? I think he's like really determined to get like a good hit. Oh, bad luck, mate. Bad luck, mate. That's his last reroll for this. Wow. Those went fast. He used one per turn. I mean, he kind of needed to on some of them. Uh, these guys are safe for now as long as I make the touchdown. Because then everything will be reset. And I'll get a chance to hopefully... Well, I'll probably end up waking up his beast man rather than mine. It would be nice to injure somebody. Were you my guard guy? Yeah, you were. That's why it sucks so much. That's right. How could I forget? Nice. I'm getting pretty good on these rolls, actually. Oh, he's going to push him that way. And so he has another chance to kill him. Oh, fuck. Fool me, I told the dodge! Thank God. He just uses Blitz. Now he can't... Well, he can mark this guy, but I have two dice on him with this guy. You know, this match... Really? Did not see that one going. I may be interested in, like, standing over here and then using this guy to hit him. You know, I may be interested in doing that. Or maybe interested in, like, blitzing the shit out of him. No, that'd be a bad idea, because then I could knock him away, so yeah. This is risky, because if I get a bad roll here, like two bad rolls in a row, then my guys are going to start murdering and being killed. But, I mean, come on! Yeah. 
Uh. Foul? Come on. Nah. My guys are in a bad position here. Gotta score all I can. Score and just, you know, reset the whole board here. <laughs> this is chaos is a real I could win the match and lose overall if he injures enough of my people a few people with dodge I just like build the people here with dodge like this You're nothing fancy. I'm down two people. Not down any catchers, but I'm down a blitzer, which is important. So. I got to think about how I'm going to break through this line. And it's probably going to be by using blitzers or uh, catchers to zoom past and punch them. He'll have offense, so he gets to go first. So we want to do something like that. Smell something leveled. I'm worried about being murdered here, but there's not much I can do. So we will confirm this setup. I still have all my rerolls. He still has none. So this guy with block could do some, some real damage. He's made some bad rolls. Hopefully that is a trend that continues forever. I thought about putting someone with guard here, but it doesn't matter. Rather than having rather than losing my guard guy. It made sense to keep my guard guy here for like some tactical nonsense. Because cause he can help with blocks and shit. So I can move him into here and then you can like blitz him and then he'll fall over. I can actually move him to here and then I can blitz you know, all sorts of nasty shit. There you go. I'd be surprised if... Well, I wouldn't be surprised if I could pick up the ball, but... Nice. I'd be... I'm very hopeful that one of his turns is spent... I'm gonna pick up the ball. Fumbled. This'll be a... Uh, that's unfortunate. Come on. I don't have an apothecary. Ah! Worked out. I put my guys dodge up here because they might be able to dodge out of the way. Good job. Good rolls. Because he guys, none of these guys have block either, so he's really looking for a bash or a push. Otherwise, it doesn't do anything. Yep. That's a dodging maneuver. Still two dice in this guy. Maybe. There shouldn't be more. Damn it. <gasps> Hold your breath! Don't load the cutscene! Yes! No cutscene. Nice thing. Alright, how do I protect this ball? I just use a lot of my players to do things. Oh, really? He's going full murder meta. Staying there, I think, was the right, was the smart decision. Wow. Rude. Now he's doing the foul roll. Alright. Let's hope for nothing too nasty. John is sent off. I'm I'm pleased with that. Fair trade. Can I come here? I mean, how far can this guy go? Though? Eh, not overly far. I 
kind of want you to like blitz and go down from there. So you should probably be like here. No going for it rolls there? No. I have four rerolls still, so I can use a reroll per turn now. I don't have to feel shy about using them. I would love to, like, attempt to pick that up, but that's a bad decision. It's a bad life choice, really. That's probably not so bad of a life choice, but we'll think about it when we get to it. In the meantime, probably something similar here where... Actually, in theory, I should try and mark all of these guys here so they can't run up. Which is unfortunate, because that would mean doing something like this. God damn it. Ugh. These characters have free movement, but they can't quite get over here anyways, so... Whoa, what? He forfeited! Wow! Oh, did he get, did he get disconnected? Now I'll take those winnings. I went up. Most valuable player. He conceded immediately. Catcher Swifty! Oh, I'm going to distance Lyman. You know what? He got injured, but we still love him. He's gonna be injured a lot from now on. Um You know what? Let's look at our team roster. Three people leveled. I love that. Roll the dice, baby. Another agility point. On our catcher. So here's what we would be getting. What we'd be aiming for with these extra agilities. There's certain things that are very, very, very good with extra agility. I think it's primar primarily leap. A player with leap skill is allowed to jump to any empty square within two squares. Or within two squares for two squares of movement. Wait, what? Move the player to any empty square and then make an agility roll with no modifier except very long legs. If the player fails the agility roll, he is knocked down in the square that he was leaping to. So this lets me jump and avoid people in like a two square radius. So, it's a relatively low agility roll. I think it's only like a 67% chance of working out. Like that roll. Like you have to have high agility. But two catchers with very high agility and, you know, hopefully at some point dodge and things of that nature, could really, really be helpful. But the problem is that's being a bit greedy, but at the same time, you know what, going the distance, no, smell something, you're worth it, baby. Also affects his catching rolls and things like that nature. So putting it on the catcher is a pretty good idea, I think. All things considered. Swifty. <gasps> this is my... Alright. Roll the dice. That's fine. You know. We'll probably... I've mentioned it before. This is our level 5 agility guy. Giving him leap. Could be pretty cool. I don't think there's anything else I would want. To dodge any use tackle. Only if useful. Place pro in the square. Wow, subtract two from his dodge roll. <sighs> Risky. Diving catch is also pretty interesting. I'm going to get leap because I've already invested a lot of agility for it. But I'm just sort of looking. Player A at plus one to any catch roll from an accurate pass targeted to his square. In addition, if player, the player catch any pass... If the player catch any pass... Kick off our crowd throw that would land an empty square in one of his tackle zones as if it landed in his own square without leaving his current square. If there are two or more players who use this roll, neither can use it. Ah. That's sort of the downside of that. You don't have dodge, do you? Uh, leap and dodge are both so good. But I've invested a lot in this leap. So. 
Whew. Some choices were made. You know what? This is his first skill. His injury is niggling injury. I may not want him having him on the line. Roll the dice. Doubles. I can... Oh. Because of the injury, I don't think I want him on the line. At the same time, there's other, like, guard, and then there's Thick Skull. Thick Skull basically... Well, it doesn't do anything like that. I was like, it basically cancels out his injury because this means instead of KO, he gets stunned, but he can still get murdered. Break tackle? No. I don't think there's much use here except for guard on this character. So I think we'll just settle with block. Or dodge. Block or dodge. It's usually always dodge first, isn't it? Is there anything I want from passing? Mm. Nah, I think we'll sell with dodge. Alright, those are our three levels. Team value is definitely going up, although because of your going to distance injury and you, well... I'm not sure why that guy immediately conceded. Like, the MVP SPP would have probably leveled up one of his guys immediately. Who's level one? Junk Trunker is level one with zero SPP. We might need to fix that somehow. But other than that, everyone's level two. We got a level three. Swifty. All right. This will be a short episode. But I want to thank you guys for watching. Have a nice day and goodbye.